2 diabetes is a chronic disease, but it's something that has traditionally affected people of middle age. Increasingly though, we're starting to see younger people now being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and we consider this like the rising tide of disease. We see it affecting people as young as 12 years of age here in New Zealand, and it does tend to disproportionately affect Māori and Pacific people. For people who have young onset diabetes before the age of around 30 to 40, they have the extra challenge that they have a long lifetime risk of disease development and risk of complications. It can cause problems and damage to your eyes, to your blood vessels, to your heart. It can cause damage to your kidneys. And again, over a prolonged period of time, that damage can be accumulative. Here in Aotearoa in New Zealand, the health system is not really particularly well set up to manage the, the rising tide of young onset type 2 diabetes. We have a large number of people already diagnosed in middle age and older. So in New Zealand, we've got approximately 300,000 people already with type 2 diabetes. We don't really have necessarily have the capacity to now have this massive flood of new people coming in. We also don't screen particularly well for young people. There are potentially people out there who are living with type 2 who may not even know it. We don't have screening programs like they do in other countries, but we are finding that those rates are starting to increase.